Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make penne carbonara. So the ingredients that you will be needing today is 300 ml of this Bulla cooking cream and I'm not sure whether you can use just normal thickened cream or whatever but this is what the recipe called for. You will also be needing one tablespoon of olive oil, one onion, you need two cloves of garlic. This is just the gourmet garlic that I have. Um, so I'll be using two teaspoons of this because I think like one is a clove or something. I'll have to have a look. But you're going to need two cloves of garlic. Um, 300 grams of lean bacon. Um, I just got Ryan's bacon chunks or pieces, little pieces. Then you need some fresh parsley. You need a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley sliced. This is just what I have. Our parsley plant died. Then you need a half a cup of parmesan cheese. This is the one that we're going to be using. You need So you need half a cup of it and then you also need just some for the topping as well. Then you need some black pepper and salt to taste. It's completely up to you. You also need... Two tablespoons of fresh chives, these are from Mum and Dad's garden which I got yesterday, it smells so good. And then you need 400 grams of penne pasta, so that's like three quarters of this bag. So that's everything and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make this. So first you just want to start boiling your water for your pasta, I've added salt and I'm just waiting for it to boil. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my pasta. Oh, that's kind of hot. Okay, I'm adding most of the bag because it calls for... So I have that much left over and that should be about 400 grams that I've used. To cut um, my onion just into little diced pieces I guess you could say. I'm um, just small enough to however you guys like them. It says to have it finely chopped so I'm pretty much just going to dice my onion. So there's my onion all chopped. Alright, so I'm just going to add in my oil. I'm just going to eyeball that. And I'm going to heat that up and then I'm going to add in the onion and the bacon. Alright, so there's our onion and our bacon and I'm just going to saute both of those together. And our pasta is coming along nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to chop up my chives. And I don't really ever chop up chives. I usually buy them already done. So I'm just going to chop them into little pieces and then probably just go over them again. So that's about as much garlic as I'm going to add and then I'm just going to saute that through as well. So this is what our bacon and onion and garlic mixture looks like now. So I'm just waiting for the pasta to be almost ready or well, I'm waiting for it to be ready so I can drain it. Then I'm going to finish off the sauce. Okay, so now you want to put your bacon onto a really low setting and now we're going to start adding in the other ingredients. So we've just added in all of the cream. Now we're adding in all of our chives that we've just freshly chopped. Just going to give it a real mix through. Make sure you keep it on a low setting as well. Now I'm going to add in two tablespoons of our parsley. It says half a cup but I don't have half a um, quarter of a cup so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the half a cup of cheese. Parmesan cheese. So now I'm just going to go ahead and mix that all in. Okay, so here's the sauce. Now into your cooked pasta and then you guys can serve it. So I'll show you uh, what it looks like after. So this is the finished product and now I'm going to go ahead and serve it and we're going to top it with parmesan cheese. So this is the finished product. This is Matt's bowl. Obviously I'm not going to be able to eat nearly as much as this, but plenty left over for leftovers. And next time we, will, we were thinking maybe add a little bit more cream to make it more saucy and do it with fettuccine. And this tastes identical to the pasta cup carbonara. So if you guys have tasted that, that's what this tastes like. And it's amazing. 
So check it out and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.